trust everything that you think. Because the way you think comes from your personal perspective and your experience. Which means a successful person thinks differently because they have a different experience. And somebody who's never been successful will think differently because they have a different person. So when you choose your friend, choose very carefully. Because your closest friends might influence you with their thinking, and their thinking creates their result. Your paycheck is a result. Your pin title and new skin is just a result. That's all that's important for you to know. Yes, it is. Yes. Right? And so don't ask about, you know, make sure that you associate with the people that are, you know. And don't ask about why. You should ask how. Yes, it is. Yes. They don't ask why. What do you mean why? You created it. Like I told you, new skin doesn't cheat. But the rules of new skin is the same to him and the same to her. Yes, he has. Me and Jack have the same rules. There's no exception. New skin does not make exceptions. Even the child, the son of Sandy Tillinson, still have to go through the, the scratch and fight to become executive the LOI and so on and so forth. Derek, right? I spoke to him. Right? So I knew him when he was not yet a uh, young. Okay? In the whole world, there's three groups of people. The largest group of people are the C group. The C group is the income level is low. Just getting by. These are the uh, rank and file employees. Normal stuff in the bank. You know, in our department store, it would be the normal sales clerks. These kind of people, they will not be able to live if they don't have work for one month. Yeah. Is it true? Sure. Okay. The B group of people are better. What they do is they they used to be the C, but they fight to become the B. And the B are the managers. The managers, the supervisors, the VP, something like this. So the B people are the educated ones, isn't it? Right? And, but they're not the richest, isn't it? But then there's the A group. And unfortunately, since it's a pyramid, it is always a pyramid. How many people are rich in Malaysia? If you will count the number of people in Malaysia who have at least, at least two million million, which is to be not rich, Rich is at least you must have two million dollars in assets that you can use. You understand? At least. So if you if you include, for Monica that's not enough. That's such a shock. <laughs> if you have two million dollars and you, you you cut across the whole Malaysia and look at the people who have disposable two million dollars, how many do you think? So you know already how many are here, right? And so. Who do you think among these three groups of people are the smartest? How many of you say the A group? Okay. How many of you say the B group? Okay. All right. Let me tell you what. Aren't the A's usually the dropouts? They didn't graduate college. Is Bill Gates the smartest person in Microsoft? Did you watch the movies of Steve Jobs? The smartest guy is uh, Wozniak. Steve Jobs was not the smartest guy. Is it? Yeah, yeah but who has a bigger vision? Yeah. In my um, uh, country, the, 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 the richest person right now was a Chinese that just passed away. His name is Henry C. He owns 38 malls, the biggest in Asia. Right? And he's also the biggest real estate uh, uh, owner right now in the country. Okay? Uh, he's worth $14 billion. Okay? $14 billion from scratch. But I wonder whether most of you will be willing to do what you do. Because I have a friend who worked with them personally. And he said, you know the story? He said, NBC didn't have money. He had only a few dollars. So he would buy uh, slippers from this factory and sell it beside the street. And because he didn't have money, the minute he finished, he would run to the factory again and buy some more and sell it in the street. And then the wife across the street is selling pisang goreng. In the street, most Chinese will be willing to do that. Most children today will not be willing to do that. Yes, we yes. That's how he started. Right? So so this guy is not the smartest person in the world. So when he decided to open a bank, 
He doesn't have a degree in banking and finance. He was a shoe store owner who sold footwear on the street. What does this person know about banking? But I submit, I'm sure he hired people that were more specialist and smarter than you. Yes, yes. Why hire somebody more stupid than you? <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? So, we, we now know this group is the smartest. Now, why are they the richest? So, if, if it takes smart, IQ, and intellect, they should be the richest people, isn't it? Let's talk about the behavior of these people. What is the behavior of a normal staff? What do you mean by that when you say it's just average? Right, so, so they, 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 they have a like minimum wage service. They only do the minimum also. These are the people that if, 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 uh, if um, <coughs> work finishes at 5, at 4.45 they're fixing their stuff to leave. <laughs> yes or yes? Yes. And they always say, I don't care. They never go to the extra mile, they say, I don't care. Yes or yes? Right. What about planning? How does these people plan? Do they plan ahead? No. Now what do they do? How do they plan? How do they plan? They only live for the now. <laughs> paycheck to paycheck. That's what they do. Paycheck to paycheck, isn't it? Okay. What about the B? What is the behavior of the B? Why would somebody promote if you own how many of you own a business? Okay, how how many of you have been a VP, GM or something like that? How many of you? Okay, so I know Chin Kui and uh, Jack. Okay, it is your command responsibility to get you know all these the HR part, the recommendations, who to promote, etc. Who do you promote usually? <coughs> what are the type of people that you would promote as a manager, head of a department or etc.? What is the characteristic of the Proactive. 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 Very proactive. That means what is a proactive you think? You think ahead. You plan ahead. You don't wait for people to push you, right? Yeah. What else? What would be the mark of a bee? You can't be a vice president of a bank for no reason. What is the mark of a bee? Actually, the truth is, you have their plan, they what? So do you think it's by accident that they got there? These are the people who studied well in school. So which means to say you already know right from the start. They already thought to be ahead. Yes, yes. What kept them there? Why did they break through and become the people? I told you at the beginning. Everybody has one life. Yes, yes. 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 And your intention from the beginning will create your outcome. Everybody has one life, right? Nobody has two lives. Everybody has 24 hours. And since they are here, why are they here and why are these people here? What's the difference? What's the difference? Risk taking. Risk Why would you take risk? You know, when you take risk in business, you always look at the gain versus the risk. Gain versus loss, right? What have you got to gain? What have you got to lose? So, people are smart. They will not take the risk unless the gain is bigger. Yes, it is. So, which means to say, what is the kind of gain that the B is planning to take and what is the kind of gain that the A was planning to take? What do you think is the difference between these two? Anybody? Politic? Yes? I don't think that they, although they may not be intelligent, but they are the people that take the most risks. They take the most risks. Why would you take the most risks? If it was you, why would you take the most risks? Because we know that as, you, as with every business that we do, there's always a risk. There's always a risk. But would you take that risk if the game was little? No. no. You try. You have to keep trying. Even if the gain was small, for example, if uh, <laughs> if the gain is only you're holding for two thousand dollars, would you take a big risk? Even if you, because if you don't, if you don't learn to also lose in life, 
how would you know how to get it? I tell you what, I will not risk if it's just $2,000. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 you agree? Yes, I agree. You probably will do the same. Because that means you're trying to get $20,000, so to risk $2,000 is okay. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. What is $2,000 your job? Yes. What is $20,000 your life? Having a job is not life. Getting by is not life. Freedom is about having the choices <coughs> to do what you want. Wake up when you want. You know, Monica asked me a very important question last time. <laughs> she just remind me quietly, you know, because she loves you all. Can you wake up at 10 or not? <laughs> very smart, yeah. <laughs> because she knows, yeah. But, you know, I, I miss a flight in the United States one time. Knowing fully well that my know that that ticket I got, I got from the travel expo, it's a business class ticket, but if I miss the flight, you couldn't rebook. So I have to get another flight, but because I feel like sleeping, I miss the flight. <laughs> flight. That's how much I love sleeping. Now, I don't tell my mom. Because again, she'd be like a broken record, and say, how oh, you are wasting money, blah, 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 so on so forth, yeah? But um, I value my freedom. You'll never be free if money makes you a slave. You don't have a life when money is your master. The only time that you will really get to enjoy life, enjoy your family to the full, is when money is no longer an issue. That's it. Yes. And it takes more than three thousand dollars to do that. That's it. You know, Jack. Uh, yesterday I talked to Jack, and you know, one of the benefits of this business is that. He has the flexibility to invest here, invest there, he has the money to it. So he has a, a million, million ringgit uh, condo in Penang. He has a uh, uh, place here that, uh, that rents out to Airbnb and he can get, uh, you, can get uh, you know, 9,000 ringgit per month from, from the place. You know? So even he doesn't work right now in Houston, it's okay. You know what I'm trying to say? See, so, so this, this kind of flexibility, this kind of thing is not cheap. And you normally know would need at least two million dollars invested in order for you to have you know, that kind of freedom. Yes, yes. How many of you know that it's not easy to make two million dollars? Not that easy in today's world. Okay. And so you're right, they have bigger goals. They have bigger goals, isn't it? Isn't it? Who has the smallest goal here? Huh? Of course. They need paycheck to paycheck. What about the people? Oh, they plan year to year only. They save enough for one year. But these people are not planning for year to year. They plan decades ahead. They plan for a decade. They plan for the next generation. Yes, it is. So the vision is very different. So the willingness to do things, to go through challenges, depends on your vision. So, this group of people have most vision. What else can we say about them? Intention. Intention is strong. The intention is very strong. You see, we have a saying, if there is a will, there is a way. So when you don't get the result, what do you need to check? The will. Because if, in, if that's the truth, then the mechanism of how to do it will show up when your intention is strong. Yes, it is. Yes. I want my freedom. I'm serious about it. You use skin, not that good. I'm not good at it. But the intention is strong. For anything, you know, I learned one thing from the Hotline. The Hotline Casey. I respect Casey because I saw her work. I always respect people. This this is why in New Skin there's a lot of people to respect because they never get there by accident. You really see them work. See? I remember Casey kept on asking me questions. Why? Because when Indonesia might get open, all my downlines were men. And they were uh, what do you call that professionals. They were, you know, the Unilever or something like that. And then uh, hers, they were all women who just wanted to make up. So she kept asking me, how you do it, how you do it? She's very persistent to ask questions to do all this. 
And finally, can you see the become developing herself? She could close anybody. You know, a VP, you can walk out, she could close anybody. She's very good at closing. And so when my daughter asked her that question, can you see how do you develop that uh, skill in closing? You know what the answer is? Very smart. She said, isn't it true that for anything important that needs to be done in the world, there is a book written about it? Yes, it is. You don't know how to be a mother, there is a book. And it teaches you everything. If you don't know how to close, there is a book. The insurance people surely need this book. <laughs> right? The MDRT, whatever, strategy, closing, you, you can read it, right? Uh, if you don't know how to be good with people, there is a book. How to be a people person. By John Maxwell. Right? You don't know how to be a leader, there is another book. <laughs> it's called How to Be a Leader. You don't know how to develop your organization, there's a textbook on organizational development. <laughs> Teachers use that by said. There is a book written for everything and anybody that is looking. Question is, are you looking to be successful or are you asking for excuses? See what I mean? So your intention, the strength of your intention equals the strength of your result. So whatever result that you have is just a reflection of the intention. Sure. Okay. And so we know that already. So there's a Chinese saying. You can read it better than me. <laughs> the direction that you take in your life is far more important than your skills. Stephen Covey said it best. He said, he has book called First Things First. He said, it doesn't matter how fast you're going if you're going the wrong way. The Chinese people have never been the smartest. We're not good in singing. We're not good in dancing. That's why we have to use props. <laughs> We're not good in public speaking. That's why, when, uh, you know, I mean, New Skin should really hire hosts and not ask the staff to host. <laughs> they are so lousy. <laughs> Don't you think so? The new skin stuff are the lousiest host. Why would they hire, why would they not hire people from the outside who are good at speaking? You know what I'm trying to say? So the Chinese are not good hosts. We're not good public speakers. We're not the best in IT also. We're not the most creative. We're left brain people. Left brain people only know how to use the calculator. <laughs> so think about it this way. There is somebody who's really good in singing, that's not a Chinese. But the one managing her is a Chinese. <laughs> Getting all the commission, producing the concert, that is a Chinese. You understand what I'm talking about. Right? And so, we've never been good. But what is the Chinese really good at? When your parents came here from China, they're very clear of what they want from the family. And they'll do whatever it takes to get it. Yes, yes. They're not the smartest, but they got it. Because the first thing, they're very strong with their intention and they know exactly where they're going. Yes, yes. Follow up. So you can read it. <coughs> that if the direction that you chose is wrong, it doesn't matter what you do. Your effort, your life, Time plus life is when you risk it. Third, there are some systems in this world that no matter what you do, it's just not designed to make you rich. Jin Hui is already a vice president. Why would he resign and do this business? That decision is correct. Why? Because he knows he's already at the top of what he can do. And even up to there, he could not get what he wants. Because even if you're a CEO, you're still an employee. And you can be fired anyway. And the minute that you're no longer a CEO, and because they usually replace the CEOs, <laughs> even Steve Jobs was replaced. You know that, right? You created your own company like Apple, and then you get kicked out of your own company. But you are just a CEO. You're an employee. You know, I have a CEO down there. I asked him, why do you use him? He said, you know, you have good income. He said, because I'm so used to that level of lifestyle. My wife is used to that level of lifestyle. And if I get kicked out or my company closes, I resign, I know I couldn't have that life. Mm -hmm. I would be able to 
gain that life. Everything will be taken out from you. Your membership in the club is removed. All your credit card privileges, removed. All your representation expense, removed. Driver, gone. And now what do you have? Only the money you have in the bank, which is slowly like an onion being peeled. You're becoming poor every day. Make sense? Right? And so you should just be fortunate and grateful that you are in new skin, which means the direction that you jumped, Chin Hui made the right decision. Or whether you finish the day, you get there, is a different story. That now talks about how Chinese are. Were you like a Chinese or a would you agree with me? I, I, I'm sure in your family, uh, you know, there are some people that are very successful. And sometimes it's the oldest people, right? the first group of people think these people saw new skin when they came here and they did new skin. What would be their view? Will they succeed? My father was a principal. My mom was a teacher. They don't know how to do business. But they had six children. The intention is very strong. Six children. <laughs> Teacher salary cannot uh, pay for six children's education, especially if you have a kid like me. I studied in Canada. Canada not cheap. And I took five years, and that's not even engineering. You understand what I mean? <laughs> if I took engineering, it would take me ten years. So it's expensive. right? You can't do that. So they save. You know when you save, it's not just save, but you deprive yourself. I remember my dad has to send money to China and then feed the sick children and then save for the business. So then my mom said, you know your dad loved to eat a simple thing called eggs. And he would deprive and limit himself because he needs to send the money to China and also for the US. Because his relatives in China would not eat if he would send money. For business, right? Price is 50 times. The chicken is just hanged so you can smell it while you eat the rice. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so 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 if they, 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 they had a hard time, you know, you know, with the money, starting a business. Of course, what happens when you don't have experience in business? You fail. So they went bankrupt the first time. And many people in new skin, they get one rejection, they quit right away. <laughs> that's, that's not even that hard. But my parents lost everything they worked for. But they had to start again push, save again, and then start again. Why? Otherwise, if they fail, they quit, six children will not have a good life. That's how they like to become successful. If my dad had this business, I'm 100% sure he would be teaming in his investment two years. <laughs> my mom too. They can have double account. 15 and 15. And my mom would also become teaming. You know why, you know? Because their salary is so bad. And you know, in school, what happens? Is there vacation time? Do you have salary during vacation? Are there any teachers in the room? So during the vacation time, there's no, there's no salary. So my mom had, you know, to think. She's not a saleswoman. But she just stumbled into a store, and the store was selling sewing machines, you know, singer. And then she went and approached the manager of the store and said, May I sell, I can't work for you, but may I sell your sewing machine outside and then just give me commission. Don't need to give me ready commission. And the manager said, sure, nothing to lose, right? I didn't have to pay you employee. But that summer, my mom sold the most. But the manager of the seat, the, the, the other salesperson inside that was hired was jealous. <laughs> Because she was afraid that my mom would take the position. And one other detail I forgot to mention, she was pregnant. That's the hardship that they had to do in order for them to get ready. Sure, now we have subdivisions, we have uh, we bought and sold the bond, etc., etc. But before that, that was the hardship. Did they know anything? No. In fact, the first time, they failed because they thought, okay, now we have a business, let's hire somebody to run it, our relative. Now what happens when you hire a relative? You can't even scold them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that was a mistake. So the second time around, they said, we have to leave ourselves. Then my mom said, well, how? We have to leave our job. 
And my dad said, I have no choice, you have to leave my job. So what happened? So my mom told me, you know what? We had one month to make money. Because the next month, we have no more money to pay rent. So we had to make it. So they were up and went to work. So they had to make it. So I said, so what did that do? He said, you know, the dad is very smart. We were selling fabric, that's how we started. The other companies, they were selling the fabric in a row. You know the row? And of course, you know what buyers?